Alrighty, here we are. It's shop update day, the first one of the year. I'm really nervous. I mean, I'm always nervous. I'm always just scared something's gonna go wrong. Like one time people from the US couldn't check out and it was awful. <laughs> I hope everything's okay with stock levels because sometimes those aren't quite right. I would say the only thing I know I'm not prepped on is cutting the vinyl prints. These big boys here. I made a my own cutting mat out of the chipboard. There's two layers here just because I was getting sick of cutting part way across and then having to shift it and then cut again and then you know the cut might not be perfect because my two cutting mats taped together are not quite as long as this. So this makeshift cutting mat's been working well and I could get through those faster but I'm still not done. I only have half. I still have five there, one there. I had a total of 12 banners so I've got half done. Here's some in there. And let me just show you the warehouse actually because it's actually clean. I spent almost all day yesterday cleaning it. So when you come in, da, 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 da. whoa, this corner is all cleared out of the stuff that was there. Whoa, eventually the sketchbooks will go there, but I'm not expecting those yet. But look at this. Oh yeah, and it's brighter than usual because, well, I moved the lamp that was in that corner over here, this umbrella lamp. And then the other lamp was here, but once I put the shelves here, it didn't really need to be in that corner. So I put that lamp back there. And I remembered I had leftover lights from when I did all my cabinet lights upstairs for my doll displays and figurine displays. I had extras and I don't know why I didn't think to do this before. If I did think of it, I totally forgot about it. And I have this switch taped right here. So very easy to turn it on and off. Hey, are you? No. And then this is how I did my sticker roll here. <laughs> Because I don't have a proper sticker roll dispenser yet, but I have this little box, and then if I use a, a stick of washi rolls, it works perfectly. <laughs> the thank you cards, the freebie stickers. These are leftover freebie stickers from last time. I'm going to use them up in people's orders just until they're gone. I got my breakfast, nice yogurt parfait here, oh, bye -bye. apple, banana, orange, and strawberry. In a previous video, you guys saw I moved Rick right there, and then... For the label printer, I don't have any labels here right now because I have a small roll in there. But the, yeah, here's everything. Yeah, the, the shelves don't look really much different. I have a whole bunch over here now. This is stuffed full of stuff. Woohoo! I tried to put the new stuff to this side because that's probably the stuff I'll be reaching for the most. I did two stacks of each of the, the notepads because then once I get through a stack, I can just slide the next stack over and then I don't have to restock quite as often. I did end up doing labels for the prints. Usually they're right here and I don't label them because I can see the prints, but I put some on this shelf and this shelf and I can't see those from a top-down view. So I figured since I was labeling those ones, I'd make labels for all of them because then if I rearrange them, I could move them because these aren't taped, it's just a little magnet ball. And so it's easy to rearrange. I'm just hoping I don't knock them off constantly while packaging. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have to trim down these labels a little bit because they do overhang a touch. And then for my order counter, I reset it to zero because you can choose what you want it to display. And I thought it would be fun to see the amount of orders I get for this update, even just for like the first week or whatever. Have it just show month to date instead of lifetime to date because you can just change that number on a whim and it'll automatically do it. So we're sitting at zero. And it's currently... 11.35, shop opens at 12. I'm gonna eat my brunch. I was gonna say breakfast, cause I'll probably have lunch at like three or something. <laughs> I also wanna live stream a little bit today, so I've been setting up for that. I've got a, that webcam there and the microphone there. <laughs> but probably just like a short-ish one, it's gonna go on YouTube, cause tomorrow, Tuesday is a Twitch stream day. And I try to keep all the gaming stuff on Twitch, but I can't do any gaming stuff this week, at least not tomorrow. I don't know how many orders I'm gonna get, but at least not tomorrow, I don't think. I'll have to package orders, so that will go on Twitch tomorrow. But today's not a Twitch stream day, so I'm gonna do a little one on YouTube. And it would be cool to be live streaming right when the shop opens, but there's too much back-end stuff to do that just is not conducive for live streaming. Because one of the first things I'm gonna be doing is monitoring my emails and tweets to make sure there's not something that has gone wrong. A lot of times people at least need to do address updates and stuff. Like they say, oh, I accidentally input my address wrong. Can you fix it? Things like that. So I'll be answering emails for the first bit. Plus then before I can even package the orders, I have to import them into chit chats and do all the settings. And I have 
like an in-between weight item, which I'm really nervous about. Because <laughs> most of my items are really light. The sketchbooks are really heavy. In Shopify, I can specify a box weight, but Chit Chats will not import that box weight. So I just kind of group similarly weighted orders together and edit their weights together. But then for sketchbook orders, I have the weight of the box included in the weight of the sketchbook. But for my lighter items, I can't do that. And so <laughs> for the sketchbook update, it was really nice because I had to do minimal weight editing. Today I will have to, but these are kind of heavy. And so like <sighs> importing is going to take a little while. So that's another reason why I would not live stream right when I go live. I got some crank down there because I feel like I should use up the crinkle paper I have left. I just don't know if it's really gonna be necessary with the tissue paper. I hope I don't hate the tissue paper method. Some of these are folded in half and others are two separate sheets. It just depends how the particular cut works. I'm trying to get four different sizes. So some of the ones over here are folded over. It just depends what sheet it came from. These are the same length, but not the same width. This one's slightly narrower. The narrower one would be for this box and the wider one for this box. That second size would also work for this box too. These two box depths. But if I get to this box or the even deeper one, that's when I need this paper. It's the same width as this one, but a bit longer. So these are same length, different width. These ones are same width, different length. And then these ones are really tiny because these were leftover scraps. And I thought, hey, those would work well for my little BB boxes here. So yeah. I've done tissue paper in the past and I moved away from it so I could package faster. So now that I'm going back to it, I'm like, oh my God, am I going to regret this? We'll see. This will be the test. What else here? Uh, those are just moved down there. Those are usually, those mailers are usually up on this shelf, but I had to make room for the mic. So I move those down. This little shelf under here is new. I never used to have that there. It's not new. Like it used to just be part of a shelving unit, but I've tore the shelving unit apart and it's in multiple pieces now. And I moved some of the boxes down there because they were overhanging too far and the camera was trying to focus on them, so I had to move some of the boxes down there. There are more out here. Christian folded a bunch yesterday. They're right there. Well. Oh yeah, sorry I had to kick you out because you were being a little pest. Are you sad mommy kicked you out of the room? Oh poor baby. That's more trash. It's just like scraps from when I was cutting the vinyl. Yeah, Whew. okay, this is a very long intro, but yeah, yeah. We'll see how big of a shop update this is. I'm in the mindset now that anything that's not a sketchbook update is not a big update. <laughs> but it's like, well, before the sketchbooks, I would have big updates that would keep me busy packaging for two weeks, so who knows? I mean, I don't have any new enamel pins. That could affect things. The notepads are the, the big item, I guess, of the update. But I'm also offering a digital version of those. So I'm curious to see. Oh, that's another thing I'm nervous about. I'm like, Will people's digital download emails go well? I had to download this app for it and attach the files. And I'm like <laughs> hoping it all goes smoothly with that because I've never done digital download offers before. So stuff like that just makes me nervous. I hope it all goes well. Hmm. I'm going to stop talking and eat my, my breakfast now. <laughs> Testing. Testing. <laughs> Hopefully this is working because the shop's going live. Oh, frick. Oh my God, oh my God, it's going live now. I'm like a few seconds past 12. Oops, okay. <laughs> I need to run upstairs to get my coffee going. <laughs> I thought I had time. The shop's live. Let's hope it doesn't self-destruct. I'm going to self-destruct. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, I have a tweet I can send. I got the pictures all there ready. Tweet. I could probably also make an Instagram post. I'll try to pick four different images, even if it's of the same products. Well, like I did my flower notepad on Twitter, so I'll do the video game notepad on Instagram. Okay, I promoted the dainty flower washi on Twitter. I'll select the cottage core washi. I want to include the bun bun stickers again, but I'll pick the different angle and a different print to promo. Did all my print picks download? Oh, I don't think they did. I downloaded these from email. Let's do bitter heart. Well, I can do more than four. Twitter was limited. Whoa! They're coming in. I don't know why it had to update in that fashion, but okay. <gasps> I forgot. Whoa! It just jumped to seven. Oh my God. Okay, that's cool. It scares me a little bit. <laughs> 
Oh my god! I'm just trying to make my Instagram posts. Okay, I've got six images. Well, you can do what? Up to eight on a carousel? I guess let's keep going. It is 12.04 currently. Hope you can hear me okay when I'm far away. It probably sounds better when I'm close. The mic's way over here. Because this is where I'll usually be standing. Or sitting. Right now I'm standing. I got my ergonomic mat and I got my shoes on. My feet are sore from yesterday from being on my feet all day. Organizing the warehouse, cutting the vinyl. Ugh. I see a little tail. Ma'am. Oh, whoa. Okay, this was a bad place to put the pencil holder or maybe it's a bad place for a little kiki to be wandering oh i gotta move that she's on top of my tissue okay time to check emails we just broke 100 right while i was filming the little tiktok clip <laughs> Hey, so far nothing. Oh, let me check spam folder. Check spam. It's all spam. Okay. Wow. I mean, there's no emails yet. I can probably start packaging. Ideally, I have a TikTok being like, my shop's now open, but I didn't make one. Maybe I'll post one tomorrow. I am once again going to try and not package till 1 a.m. This shop update. I'm going to be more reasonable. Plus, I want to stop at a decent time to cut more vinyl. Maybe not today. Depends how fast these prints, these vinyl prints are selling, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Turn on Rick. Are you sad you can't see Rick? You usually you can see me like push the buttons and stuff. It was kind of cool. Now he's now visible. It's 1226. Just broke 200. Woo! This thing's fun, especially resetting it to zero. I think I solved my box weight problem, but it involved an outside app. Because I've looked into this in the past, just in the Shopify settings, but there is nothing. Although I already have 256 orders without this method, so I'm going to have to suffer for a couple days. But I have, I got this app in Shopify that automatically adds a gifted item to your order. And it's said to automatically add no matter what you order, as long as it's not a digital download. Now, every time I do add a new item to my shop, I'm going to have to go into that app and add it to that list. But this should import the weight into Chit Chat's properly probably hopefully i did a little like test adding stuff to my cart over here and it seems to work so oh hopefully it's all good <laughs> i used to have a box weight added just in the shopify settings but i set that box weight to zero so that you're not being charged the box weight twice or it doesn't get added on twice i may have just solved all my problems except i have to deal with those problems for a couple more days <laughs> yay kiki yay oh what's that noise so like, let's say I have this and I add to cart, it shows the box there. So and if I remove the item, the box gets removed too. Okay, I've imported 70 orders. I gotta know at a glance which box I need and I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one, box number two out of four in terms of depth. Cause we do have a video game planner pad, but also one of these rolled up prints. I'm not centering the paper because once I fold over the top, I want that to be roughly centered in the box. So if I center the tissue right now, it will not be centered when I put the sticker on. So video game planner. Do I need the chipboard? There is another print to go on top. So that would kind of protect, but do I still want the chipboard maybe? Or just like flip this upside down. It doesn't look as cute when it's flipped upside down though, but it, you know, there's chipboard already on it. So <laughs> why waste a piece of chipboard when it's right there? Here's the picture pour print, the leaf lounger art print, dainty flower washi, and two of the cottage core bun sticker sheets. This is for Sophia, by the way. Hey, she's local. <laughs> I ended up using these stickers on those. Oh, it just looks ugly chipboard side up, but either way, there's going to be chipboard, so.
this envelope was previously folded, so it's a little awkward there. <laughs> oh yeah, I started putting my washi tape on the other side before, because when I pull it off like that and go to stick it down, the Bailey J text is upside down, so it'd make more sense to have it on this side. But it fits so well over there. Although everything else is over here. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. The two stickers. The washi, since it's so low, I'm not going to put it in a sleeve. Although if I do crank, I should sleeve it. Am I doing crank? Oh. I don't know, man. Actually, you know what? I don't think this needs a box this deep. Some of these are also rolled tighter than others, which can affect it. Let me grab a shallower box. Oh yeah, that'll fit. This is why the start is very slow. <laughs> See, the whole idea of switching to tissue paper is that it's a crinkle paper replacement. Although I do have some more to use up. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. The paper got a little crooked. Oh yeah, but first we need thank you card, freebie sticker, and another freebie sticker. <laughs> Just because. Look at all those bunnies. They're everywhere. <laughs> Now the thing with the tissue paper this way is stuff can still slide out the edge technically <laughs> but trying to fold both directions just gets so messy like you almost have to fold it like a present on the table before even putting it in the box and it's just too much work. <laughs> really bright on my screen it's not a vibrant yellow I do have saturation boosted a little on my camera maybe I should turn that back down um yeah hopefully this stays intact the tongue of the box does go on the bottom which is nice although one of my deeper boxes does not do that oh my God, I'm not used to handling Rick from this side left-handed grab I'm not used to this also ah no the tape stuck immediately. It's crooked. Like when it came out this way, I just grab it like this. But then you gotta turn the tape sideways. So now Rick is actually turned 90 degrees. He's spitting tape out towards the desk, which kind of makes more sense. Maybe I should get that little adapter that spits the tape upwards. I still wanna grab it like the old way <laughs> with my right hand. I had like my pinching technique down. Okay, one package. It's 153, <laughs> the first one packaged. A dainty flower pad, two cottage core buns, three dainty flower washi, two cottage core washi, bakery and lac. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Microphone cord in the way there. should theoretically also fit in this one because the last order had similar stuff. Yeah, okay. Tish. Oh, this one's cut really crooked. There's an issue with my tissue.
Oh, so cute. Cute, cute. I love how the dainty flower washi is just a miniature version of this one. <laughs> that one's for Kara. Next, for Rain, Rainy, two video game planner pads, a dainty flowers pad, video game washi, cottage core washi, and two male cat washies. I doubt the video game and male cat ones will last long because. I mean, actually they might. <laughs> it's just leftovers from last time. So I'm like, oh, they might sell fast. And I'm like, well, if they didn't sell out last time, then maybe they won't sell quickly this time. But I'm just trying to say there's way fewer of them available compared to the other washies. Seven items, okay. okay. Now that's probably gonna need the deeper one. Me paranoid I'm missing something. <laughs> but that almost looks like it would fit in the shallower one too. <laughs> ah. Well, mm, no. Okay. We have the garden bun lesson. Ginger bun, A grade. Video game washi. Mushroom girl, A grade. Cottage core bun sticker sheet. Bitter heart, and a pitcher pour. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Having Rick there makes kind of good, a good place for my camera. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rick. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I was like, where's the seventh thing? That. <laughs> you order. <laughs> okay. This should fit actually in a rectangle because there's no planner pad. Some of these ones are not one sheet folded in half. They are two separate sheets. And I am doubling up just because it is very see-through. So we're getting the exact placement is going to take some practice. Soon I'll be quick at it. Soon. Drop in that and that. Thank you. Some stickers. How fun. Woo. Okay, I could have given a bit more length to the top piece, but it's mostly centered. This one I feel like I need to get it tighter because the tongue is going to come down. Like the other ones, the paper went side to side, but this one, the paper's going top to bottom. Just because that's the way my scrap pieces worked out when I was like, cutting things. Because the tissue paper comes in a set size, and so I have to cut it in ways that work. So, but now that tissue paper's kind of in the way of the tongue, is what I'm saying. I wrapped it well enough that it's not, but it's just something to keep in mind, I suppose. You're gonna shake every time I grab tape. <laughs> I don't always seal the sides of boxes, like these boxes, because the sides are not very long. I'm like, what if a sticker weasels its way out of the tissue? And then weasels its way out the side? I mean, the tissue's... Well, yeah, you know what? Because the tissue's going this way, not this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's seal the sides. Oh, seal the sides. Don't open up my box. I seal the sides. So I made a coffee at 12, it's quarter after two, and I just remembered. 
It's upstairs sitting on the Keurig. <laughs> I'm gonna need that energy. It is currently 7.21. My stream ended a little while ago. I streamed on YouTube. You probably know that already because you probably <laughs> saw the stream in your sub box area. Subscription tab. Bull. Oh my god, this is so cute. The colors, I just can't. <laughs> okay. I can't speak right now. Anyway, I'm continuing to package orders. The stream gave a huge boost in orders. Thank you so much, everyone who ordered, because I started the stream. Well, I saw it was at 369, right before the stream started. Then it ticked up before I went live. So it was around the 370 mark. And we ended at 630 during the stream. And there have been 36 since, but that is nuts. Got that stream boost. So, that's the power of the, the same day stream, especially on YouTube. Yeah, thank you everyone for a successful update. I mean, successful so far. Seems as though it went off without a hitch. It's now 10 p.m. and I just tidied up for the evening. I got, yeah, I got through my 70 orders and decided to stop there because it is 10. I don't want to go too late. For day one, it's an all right number. <laughs> there are the packages there. I managed to fit them into two boxes, which is surprising. But there are a lot of smaller packages compared to like a sketchbook update or something where they're all squares. But yeah, I did not use a single one of this box. This is my third deepest out of four. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to touch any of those. So I'm gonna have to order a lot of notepads for me to use that one. Which is funny because these are all that box also. <laughs> Well, not this top stack. This is different, but everything where you see this round tab at the end, that's all that box size. I I don't know why I have so many of that box. I did not order any of those this time. And then for my biggest size, we have those stacks. Oh, and then this. This is technically also the biggest box size. These two are little ones. But mm, yeah, maybe I'll get rid of a few more of those when the sketchbooks arrive, but oh, there's just so many. Because, you know, I'm trying to, like, not have a bunch of leftover boxes for when we move. The sketchbooks are my one hope, but there's no way I'll get through all those. Yeah, but you just shred them to a pulp, and then I don't have to deal with them. Oh, thank you. I don't want to slow down with the store stuff. I want to keep going full steam despite the move, even though I know we'll have to shut down for a while while I move. But I can't just be ordering a bunch of stuff right before we go. So there's this update, there's going to be a sketchbook update. Oh, am I going to drop all the sketchbooks at once though? Because <laughs> last time I did the sketchbooks in two drops. But because half of them are a restock, I might just drop all of them. I have no idea. But... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nerve pain. Right above my butt cheek. And now I'm scared to put any weight on that leg. <laughs> Mamma mia. That's uh, definitely more than I was expecting. I never know what to expect, yet it's not what I expected. So thank you so much, everyone who ordered. Oh my god. Oh boy. I mean, 7-Eleven. I'm cutting the vlog off here because it's really long and I'm scrambling to package orders. So I'll put up the next part in a few days. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. It actually ended up turning out perfectly, especially once I add the outline. Sometimes it looks like a mess because I just need to clean up the outline. The outlines are in pencil, and so there are the initial outlines, then I color, and then I go back and darken the lines and clean them up, and that's when everything sort of just falls into place.